Hey guys, what is going on? Is the Tony Science here? I'm back in once again with the Dungeon Defenders to Guide. Uh, here at 1:30 in the morning, and the sky is current uh, as of 8:15, 2019. I, I'm I'm be showing you how to grind Defender Medals, Mod Reroll Tokens, and Mods all at the same time with a semi AF cable build. All right, so let's. <laughs> Jump right in to the requirements for this. One, you need to be in Chaos 7. Chaos 7 is what actually drops the reroll tokens to actually uh, reroll your mods. So, like, if you don't know what rerolling your mods are, so you hit Control. Click to upgrade. You can upgrade, evolve, advance, and reroll menu. You click the reroll menu, and you can reroll your defense health stat, your defense power stat, then all of your servos. And it costs one pristine token. How many of these can be acquired uh, only on the Dragon Frost Keep maps? And also they drop from Onslaught. They you will need emotes which you have de play modes and defender medals from this method. Now what I personally use is you will need a one monk with flame wars. Preferably spec'd out and just for flame wars. So you know all your points into damage, range, etc, etc. And then and you're gonna need a wall builder. Uh, you can use the squire walls, you can use any wall that you feel comfortable with using. Um, I am going to use my Atriad walls. More world tree, you know, like nothing crazy, just fortification works and a decent defense health totem. And again, they only drop from the Dragon Frost maps, and we're gonna be going to Chaos 7. Do the Dragon Frost resort. You can do the Dragon Frost keep if you if you do have a 10 of 10 tenacity but if you don't have a, a 10 of 10 chaos a tenacity a dragon frost resort is your best bet we're gonna go to chaos 7 you can i do this private or publicly um it just depends on your personal preference i prefer to do this privately and i will pull up a netflix or some type of music and just zone out this is Semi AF cable, so this is not fully AF cable. If you, it depends on your power level currently in the game. Me, me, my flame war is currently um I am one cool. one off the speed gap. Um, I recommend defense rate servo on your flame wars. Um, range and damage is always nice, and then you have to have the defense rate shard. You get the strikes and destruction. And then, uh, as well as you said, you need your defense speed capped. Yeah. Once you have all of that, you are free to do this build anytime on any the Chaos 7 map, provided that you have the power to use them. Now, uh, what I do is I set up the trees because the trees are actually uh, one of the most inexpensive walls in the game. I use them personally just because I like the look of them, and plus, I just enjoy some trees. He's a dryad that does not get enough love in the DVD community, and I would like to change that. So let's go ahead and just place all the trees. Uh, you can either follow my placements or you can do your own build. Uh, this is just a general idea that I came up with while trying to farm defender metals and receiving tokens at the same time, as well as mods. Now, uh, it's this is your playing Chaos 7, you will get the full variety of the Chaos and mod pools, so you can drop any mod from any Chaos tier, and any shard, potentially. So let's let's go ahead and set up the Flame Wars. So for this, I'm going to actually put some music on, because this is a kind of a boring process. Hopefully, hopefully I remember to speed this up in editing. You just want a two in each spawn, and then just kind of do them all back. Uh, this is an or spam build. You can use earth shatters and poison. Right, that is another good one. Now uh, we are like spacing out because we want some good, good uh, lane coverage on every single flame war. So that way we can make this as as AFK well as possible. Because who actually wants to sit there and grind all this stuff while being 
had tension for that long. I know, I know in fact the juice bags actually, uh, send me AFK farms, so I'll just pull up a Netflix stream and just uh, watch that or, or I'll pull up Twitch. Now, uh, this build you should have some left over for lightning strike ores. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Um, I always prefer some lightning strike ores because well, it just helps with bosses and it just makes it that much more AFK. Well, let's head over here and hopefully I built all this right because I would hate to mess up on camera. I've done this like a hundred times, so I should I should probably remember by now how to do it. But as anybody that watches my channel knows, I'm not exactly a, a pristine defender of this area. So you can I take away some like strength on these lanes, really long lanes, because well, that's fine. So I'd give you an idea of how much damage you're putting out. Uh, 570. Really 691k? No wait, no. At least it's boosted near the tree. Uh, 576k. Um, its attack damage is 156k, and that hits every 0.31 seconds. So it is at the speed cap. So I'm hitting for the max I possibly can. And now we just say G. Now this is uh, my personal nuke muck build. Um, just build to put some stuff down and just kind of run around and kill things um, I personally recommend the series EV for the job um, if you really want to like be lazy and like just shoot at a boss from afar but we just find out if we take a look over the right on the mini map uh, this is basically it so um, I if your flame wars aren't powerful enough to do to handle everything, upgrade everyone on on the spawns, so the two at the spawn. Then upgrade upgrade at least a one on the bridge for flyers. And then you actually have a solid defense that nothing will get through. Um, if a boss does get to your walls, um, like don't panic. Just go over there and like pause your YouTube video or Netflix show you're recording or something and go kill it um, I also recommend I'm having having a hero available with, with burning strikes or or a huntress because um to be the dragon lord can spawn as we all know he's just inconvenient to deal with I personally don't have a uh, burning strikes on my monk I was supposed to and I didn't so I have to keep my I'm um, dried in the deck so yeah um, I am going to also put out a tutorial on how to do the Dragon Frost Keep easier because I know that's a map that people have issue with. Uh, it's just more about being active than anything. But, but, but this is totally AFKable. Um, except for like the Dragon Lord and an AC Drawler. That's pretty much it. And if you get lucky, you won't actually have to move at all. So, yeah, this pretty much wraps it up. I think we're going to uh, run through the whole map. Up, oh, yep. There he is. Uh, we're gonna run through the whole map, and I'll show you how it goes. Find his un burning strikes just to ruins ruins the Dragon Lord's day. And boom. There we go. And I may I say, like the dry, its healing is just awesome. That's why it's, it's personally my choice of wall. If I do use a wall, but. But uh, some people would argue that walls are unviable. Um, as far as like just Chaos 7 goes, it's perfectly viable to use a wall. But Onslaught, no, it's not. Um, and I would like to actually show some, show some gratitude to you guys. I went up 9 subscribers. And that's a big jump for me. And uh, I would like to thank you all. Um, for liking and commenting on my last Dungeon Runners Guide. It's, it's currently at 800 views and that's insane. But hopefully you guys do enjoy this guide a little bit more. And I think we're just gonna I kinda let this run because well okay, I need to farm tenders tokens and let's get some footage, why not? So um, I will be doing more guides. It just uh, let me know what you guys want to see. And 
which you guys which you guys need answered um, I will answer either down by the comments or I will actually make a video if it's something really worth talking about because there is a good bit of confusion in the Dungeoneers community um, just because well a lot of guides that people put out right they are very they're still up to date technically but they just are like older so like it doesn't feel like you're getting the right information all the time and, and I just I think it's just nice to see like you know the new UI and everything else when you go actually watch the Dungeoneers guide because a lot of them are older and you don't see the whole thing but and we're gonna be quiet and let this thing run. I'm Beast, no scientist, and enjoy the rest of the footage. Alright, so we are back on the fifth wave, and uh, it did actually, I forget to mention that uh, the Dragonfrost Keep and Dragonfrost Resort are the best places to get EXP currently in Dungeon Twinders 2. It's actually, the Weather you guard it as is the best place to farm in the game, but it's kind of inconvenient at times, and I fucked up my nuke. That was great. Yeah, it's totally out of cable, guys. Fails. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, uh, the nuke monk is the way. <laughs> Which one just to do this to a siege roller? Oop. And that is how you farm XP, defender metals, gold, and most of all, those pristine tokens and mods. Thank you for watching. I'm like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment for more guides on Dungeon Trader 2. I am always open to ideas. And as always, I always thank you guys for watching. I'm the Sony Scientist, and good night.